Hello folks, this is Dennis. As promised, I'm going to show you today how to adjust the belt tension on the FL Sun Super Racer, as well as show you how I maintain the grease on the linear rails. So the first thing we're going to do is tune the belts. So as you know, there are three belts on the Super Racer. I'm just going to do one just to show you how it's done that way there, and you can do the rest on the other two. So the first thing I want you to do is get your cell phone, download a program called Pano Tuner, Pano Tuner, and that's what we're going to use to tune the belt. So this is not my idea. This is an idea that a friend of mine gave me, Paul Hankin. I'm sure you probably heard about him on uh, Facebook. Uh, so what we're going to do is bring, put that on, bring it into the printer and move this down and these belts here are what we're going to tune so what we're going to do is pluck them just like a guitar and you want to try and get as close to 60 as you can 60 hertz all right so that's what we're going to do and then you're going to do that for all three of them. Easy enough, it takes a little getting used to because plucking this thing is not that easy and getting the sound correctly is not that easy. But start up piano tuner, a uh, piano tuner, and pluck it until you get 60 hertz and then do that for all three. All right, so once you've determined that you have 60 hertz, then you're gonna come back in here and if it does need adjustment, you loosen these bottom two screws, uh, top two screws. And then you can adjust it from there. If it's 80 or 60 or whatever it is, just adjust this knob here until you get it right where you want it. Then when it's at 60, then tighten these two screws back up. Make sure you do that. And that's all there is to it. And then just do that for the other two legs. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is grease the ball bearings in the linear rails. I'm sure you already know that the linear rail are those steel sections that are inside the, the legs. There's one in each one. And just to give you a better idea, this is a linear rail. That's what you see inside the printer. This is the rail, this is the slider. This is what makes the arm go up and down. Inside this thing, there's about 32 ball bearings, very tiny. And on the side, you can probably see there's a groove on that side and there's a groove on this side. That's where the ball bearings relied and that's where we have to get it all greased up and ready to go. All right, so anyway, this is the rail that's inside the Super Racer. So let me show you a couple of close-ups of what we're going to be doing. If you look on top of this rail glide, you'll see that there's a small hole in the center. That's where we're going to put the grease, just like that. I'm going to put it in like that. And we're going to put some on the sides of this and the sides of that, just a little bit at a time. And we're going to do that on the actual printer. So let's put this down and do it on the actual Super Racer printer. All right, so first of all, to make things a lot easier, I purchased some of these offset syringes from, from Amazon. And if you're interested in what the model number is, let me know and I'll, I'll give you the link. But this makes things a lot easier for, for inserting the white lithium grease into, where, into the uh, linear rail. So like I said, we're gonna I'm going to put the flashlight on so you guys can see better. So down in there, you can see the red cover. You can see the little hole. I'm just going to put that right in the hole and squeeze some grease in there. Not too much, just enough. And then I'm going to come on the side of each rail, just like I showed you on the other one, and put a little bit of grease 
on each side. And again, I'm, I'm just showing you an example. You want to go all the way up and down so that way there everything is greased nicely. So once everything is all greased up, you have enough grease in the bearing, you have grease on the side of the linear rail. You want to come over and just slide this up and down gently just to make sure it runs smoothly. And again, everything I'm telling you for this one, do it on the other two. All right, so we have the belt tuned. We have the linear rail greased. So now the only thing left to do is reassemble it. So what I do is I put a little dab of grease inside each cup. Just a little, not much, you don't need a lot. And then put it back on. And then do the same thing for the other two. All right, so we have all the cups greased up. As you can see, I attached them to the top leg assembly. So what I'm gonna do now is just take this from the top where I was storing it, bring it down, assemble this. And that's it. We've tuned the belts, we've greased the bearings, and when we've reassembled it. All right, so once you have everything all assembled, just remember, because you took it apart to, to do all that work to it, just remember to re-level it. Re-level and also adjust your Z. Make sure the Z is perfect. And there's also a lot of confusion about the Z and how tight that should be with the paper in there. You just want slight drag you do want drag but just slightly no squishing no squashing just some slight drag but definite drag on the paper so that's it it's as simple as that takes a little getting used to but it's very worthwhile doing i do this about every month month or so just to make sure that the super racer continues to run smoothly and accurately all the time All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And if there's something else you want me to show you how to do, just let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to do so. Until next time, happy printing.